Welcome to the Relisha Blocks podcast. I am your host, Victoria Bond. Join me as we chat about mindset, consciousness, and turning up your potency so you can get clear on your divine mission here on earth. I'm a spiritual empowerment coach. I use intuition, mediumship, and life coaching with my clients so they can create the life they truly desire. I believe we are here to be wealthy and healthy. If you desire more of this in your life, then this is the podcast for you. My mission is to share my knowledge of entity clearing, shifting limiting beliefs, and becoming more conscious within our bodies and minds so we can fulfill our life's purpose. I will be bringing you weekly podcasts with interviews, solos, and pre-recorded juicy lives from my socials. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the podcast, and if you do, I would love you to please follow me here and find me at Holistic Energy Shifting on Facebook, where you can find a heap of free inspiration and information to shift the energy and grow abundance. Now let's get into today's episode. Hello everybody, and welcome to today's podcast on Release Your Blocks. So I am going to be sharing a little secret with you today and the reason why I want to share it with you is because I believe we can have it all. I believe we can be any energy and I believe that when we get stuck on judgments and considerations and what we think is right or wrong, it can cut off our awareness. So I did think very hard about sharing this with you. And as you know, if you've listened to any of my other podcasts, sometimes I can go really deep, deep into, um, you know, what I'm sharing. And I just follow the guidance and know that whoever requires to hear it will. So today I want to tell you all about why I got a boob job. Now, this it sounds so funny even saying that. It's not actually been that long. It has only been three weeks today where I went and got my boobs done. The reason why I didn't want to share this was literally I was afraid that people would judge me. I mean, a holistic spiritual empowerment coach is getting her boobs done. Why would she do that? Isn't she happy with who she is, and these is a kind of you know the thoughts and the feelings that I'm I was kind of like tapping into of what people might what might go through their head. So I wanted to clear it up, and one of the things that would help me clear that up is by talking about it. Now I no longer have the point of view that other people's opinions actually matter. And that is why I wanted to do this podcast. I wanted to tell you why I did it and why I'm even talking about it. Because in my interesting point of view, it's none of anybody's business. But because I am on a platform and because I do share everything about me, I do not hide. I try to um, show myself up in every single way. So by being vulnerable and by being honest and by allowing myself to tap into and see the shadow as well as the light so I can be the best spiritual empowerment coach. So this is no different. I don't want to sh- sh- um, basically hide what it is that I've done to shut down a part of me that I have chosen to do with no regrets, with only pure gratitude of having an opportunity like this. Because I am abundant, I am an allowance, I am guided, and I trust that everything is as it is, and I have pure choice on what I'm receiving. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story about why I got a boob job and how it came about, which is really interesting. So for so long, I heard people say, I'm not going to have any more kids. Maybe I'll get a boob job one day, or when I finish having kids, I'll get a boob job. When I make lots of money and win a lotto, I'll get a boob job. Hey, we should go overseas and get a boob job. (laughs) And people say these things. And I've, I've often heard my mama, I'm pretty sure she said that when I was young as well. Wouldn't it be nice to get a boob job? And, you know, this kind of kept going around in my head. And then one day I was thinking, you know, that wasn't relevant then. But now that I've had two children and I have like literally 
empty breasts with nothing in them, just literally just like kind of like skin after breastfeeding because I loved it so much. I breastfed my daughter for 20 months and then my son um, for seven months. I would have breastfed them both till three if I could have because I loved the connection so much. I love the feminine body. I love the sexiness and I love the nurturing and I love everything female. Everything divinely female is just beautiful. So then I'm sitting there one day and I was thinking, yeah, I definitely have like nothing left in my chest area. And, you know, I feel like it'd be, if I had my breasts that I had before and I could fill up my bra and if I could be, feel sexy in in togs or even in a top that, um, you know, that would make me feel really good. And although I look in the mirror every day naked and look at my body and go, wow, you birthed two children. Wow, you are female. Wow, look at your incredible body. I kind of ask the question, why not? Why not fill my breasts up? Why not do things to my body and play with my body if that's fun for me? Why, because I'm a spiritual empowerment coach, Should I be confined to the thoughts and feelings and judgments of other people that may be in the spiritual realm thinking that we must be natural, we must do this, we must do that, we must be happy with ourselves? Because the truth is, I am happy with myself. I love my body, whatever size I am. I love to work out. Sometimes I'm slimmer than other times. Sometimes I'm feeling healthier than other times. But the one thing I couldn't change was my bust size. So I thought, well, if I decide to get my boobs back, like pre-breastfeeding, what would that look like? And I literally just popped a couple of questions out there. I didn't think anything of it much because the truth is I do love my body. And every time I saw those boobies, I saw what I did with my children and for my children. They became my children's boobies. <laughs> That's how I kind of felt. And I thought, I'm not having any more kids. So this time last year, I was at my very first business retreat. I was a guest at the retreat and I was working with the coach on the tech stuff and I was having a couple of tantrums because I didn't, my computer wasn't doing what I wanted to. I didn't know how to save files. I'm not very good on computers. I'm much better, but seriously, I was so terrible. And I was like, how am I going to make all this money and impact all of these people with my mission and with my purpose and with my message if I can't use a computer? So anyway... I started thinking and I said to her, you know what, I'm going to make a deal with myself. In one year's time, if I can have consistent 10K months for this year, I'm going to shout myself a breast enlargement. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a boob job. And my coach, she looked at me and she said, oh, okay then, cool. We'll see if that happens then. I'll be really keen to see if you get go through with it. Another person who was there, she was the host. She's a phenomenal person. She said, why would you want to do that? And I said, why not? Why can't I have everything? And from that moment forward, it sat there in the back of my head. If I have 10K consistent months within my spiritual business as a coach, then I'm going to gift myself a boob job. So the thing that happened was I did start having consistent 10K months basically instantly, maybe the month after. And I was like, oh my goodness. And then probably about three months ago, I was like, I have now done this. And if I'm choosing to, I can go get my boobs done. And I was like, oh my gosh, has this become my reality that when I say anything, it is actually an opportunity. And then I have choice. It was just another confirmation that I can get what I want. I can have whatever I choose, but now I have the opportunity to change my mind if I'm choosing so. So I I kind of sat with that and I had to talk to my husband and I said, you know, I I said this nine months ago. So when it comes up to that year, I would really like to go and get a boob job. And he said, oh, I, I want you to be happy with who you are because you're perfect. And I said, I know. And I'm really grateful for who I am. I'm grateful for everything. I love my life. But 
how good would it feel if I could fill up those boobies and make them mine again and feel like I did pre-children or even while I had children, while I was breastfeeding, I felt just so divine and feminine and curvy. I love the curvy body. I love the feminine essence and all of that type of stuff. And, you know, it's just a personal thing for me. It was a goal, but at the same time, I just felt like it would, it would really like make me feel even more enhanced. So after having a few conversations of why I was doing it and all of the logistics of it, we went and found a surgeon, an amazing surgeon. It's like the universe just kept putting the right people in front of me at the right time. Even a person who I go have laser with was telling me all about hers and showing me pictures and recommending this guy. And it was here in New Zealand, so I didn't have to be too far away from my children um, for only like two days. And all of these types of things. And I could just keep working like I always do and actually have a little bit of a break because I haven't had one this year. So what would it take? So I told a handful of people and off I went and I went and did it. And now it's three weeks later. There's still a little bit of healing to go, but I feel fantastic. I feel empowered. I feel like I have choice. And when I think about the people that may be judging me on doing something not so natural or judging me for spending the amount of money I spent instead of investing that or instead of putting that on the mortgage or instead of taking my kids for a holiday. When I think about the judgments and the considerations, I don't have a point of view now because I'm not judging myself. If anyone chose to not follow me because of this, that or the other, because of their judgments, their considerations, their belief systems, then that's okay as well. Because I believe that my soul family, my soul clients, my soul friends and everybody who accepts me for me and I accept them for them won't have those judgments because they're not their judgments to have. So yeah, that is my story. And uh, ever since that has happened, alignment has happened even more so. I started with a new coach basically the day before I went into surgery and then all of these things aligned up with me. I started seeing even more spirit and I started getting more signs and I started getting more clients finding me. And I really do believe this is because I chose for me and I said to the universe, I'm choosing me. And it might seem kind of random and a unique kind of choice. But the reason why I'm choosing me is because I want to celebrate me. I want to celebrate my body. I want to celebrate this life. And I am feminine. I am a divine goddess. I am guided and I am loved. And there is nothing wrong with choosing me. What I did for my children by breastfeeding them, and I was so grateful I was able to do that. I was very, very fortunate that that came to me so easily. Other ways, other things I wasn't so fortunate with, but my experience with that was phenomenal. And what is a better way to thank myself for my achievements and choosing myself? So I'm thanking myself by choosing myself, by investing in myself. So that was a really expensive week. I I paid $10,000 for coaching with my client and I paid uh, more than that for my operation, you know, and the lovely thing about it is because I don't have the resistance about my choice that if I am in an atmosphere, if I am in circumstances of people asking me this stuff, like, um, did you get a boob job? <laughs> because clearly that I look different. I'm like, yeah, I did. And then they can ask me questions if they like. But the most people that have been my friends and family that have known about this, which has only been a small amount, it's just because they're in my vortex and it was relevant to tell them. They're like, well done, congratulations. And even my um, a family member really close to me, when she picked up on it and I told her, her mouth dropped and she went, oh my gosh, are you serious? Because I just don't seem you know, like that's something I would do apparently. And when I explained to her what I've just told you of the why not, because this is what I'm choosing and all that type of stuff, she just said, good for you. Good for you for choosing that. And it's someone I thought would 
most probably be like, what, what are you doing? Because people do have points of view on what your money should be spent on or what you should do with your body or what should happen with the environment or how life is happening. And all I can see there is judgment, 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 judgment. So I am the voice. I'm here to tell you holistic, spiritual, religious or not, whatever you are, you can have it all. I've seen so many spiritual teachers, they do things, they, they tweak things, they change things. They, I have tattoos all over my arm. So what is the difference? And I'm getting more next month because it's fun and I'm here to play with my body. And my body said it was light and expansive, so I went for it. So, so many spiritual empowerment coaches like myself, they do these things and if they're on a platform or if they are quite well known, they don't seem to get judged. So why would we judge anybody for choosing to do something like this? So I would love to know your thoughts on this. This is my big reveal. There'll probably be a few people messaging me going, what? I didn't even know. (laughs) And that's okay because I don't have to justify myself to people. And from this podcast, I'm actually really hoping that this will empower people to choose for themselves. It it may be as much as going to the gym or, you know, to take that time out to work on your body. Uh, It may be going and shouting yourself a facial. It may be getting your hair done, or it may be even deeper stuff like investing yourself in a coach, taking yourself away for, I know a girlfriend of mine also who's a client, she went away for the weekend without anybody, just herself and left her baby and her partner at home so she could go and take a weekend out for herself. None of these things are selfish. None of these things are wrong. It's about choosing for you because if you choose for you, if you know that you're worth the investment that you're putting in or the time that you're putting in, then you will get that back tenfold. The universe will say, you are willing to choose you. Therefore, I'm going to reflect that back at you and I'm going to give you abundance. So when I spent those thousands and thousands of dollars, because of course I desired the best surgeon and all that type of stuff I did in my research, I also shouted out myself for a high, high level coach. And I felt so good investing, not from scarcity, but from, wow, my life is going to explode in quantum leap. I know it because I've just made these investments and they feel so good. So whatever you're choosing, what feels good for you? Why are you choosing it? Are you choosing it out of competition or because you're comparing or are you choosing it because it's just for you? And my little saying was always just for me, just for fun, never tell anyone. Now I'm telling everybody. But the reason why I said that was because I'm like, this is my little secret. So you know when you're like pregnant for the first 12 weeks and it's so cute. It's like your little secret. Or if you get engaged and um, before you've told anybody, you're like, it's a little secret. <laughs> and it's kind of like that. It's just for you, just for fun, never tell anybody. And those moments of you chose for you. It's just for you and it just makes you feel so special and so unique. So whatever it is that fills up your cup, whether it is a boob job or whether it is investing in a coach or taking a weekend out for yourself or even taking half an hour to go meditate, take half an hour. I understand if you've got little children, it is near impossible to have a break. So if that is you, just ask the question. What would it take to create the space for me to have time for myself today? What would it take for me to have the space to do me today? And what I found is when I start asking these questions, then someone would come along and take my kids. Like, seriously, I'd have a sister turn up and go, hey, I'm just going to take your kids. And I'd be like, what? (laughs) Or um, something would happen. And all of a sudden, I'd be like, I have an hour for free. What What is going on here? And then I'd go meditate. So just know that you can create whatever you desire. And anything, if you told me literally that year ago, just before I decided if I do this and do this, I didn't think that was going to happen. It was a zero evidence goal. Sure, I was creating my business, but when I was sitting there with that coach and I didn't even know how to use simple computer systems at all, like 
literally, I didn't even know how to email anybody. It was ridiculous. I mean, maybe a slight exaggeration I could email, but there's many things I couldn't do, like tag in a file. I can barely do that stuff now, but I knew that I was deemed to reach people and help people with my message and be successful, however that looked. And when I made that goal with myself and that target, I will get my boobs done and I will hit those 10K plus months every single month because the more money I make, the more people I can help, the more I can invest in myself and in my business. That was a driving force. And I kept thinking, I wonder if that would happen. Wouldn't that be funny if that actually happened? And then it happened. But I had to have the thought first. What would it take to get a a boob job with ease? What would it take for it to be seamless and easy and enhance my life, you know? And although I've had this done, I feel exactly the same. I really feel like I'm going to be able to wear some sexy dresses and that my body's going to like that. I'm going to be able to show up as me. Why do we wear makeup? Why do we get our hair done? Because we want to feel nice. It doesn't mean that we don't think we're nice. So yeah, what would it take for you to invest in you? What lights you up? And start having those thoughts. Start sitting in that vibration and that frequency because your mind does not know the difference between what you have and what you're going to get. So sit in the vibration. And if it's somewhere like you want to move to the beach, that's my kind of next thing. I'm just letting it all line up right now. I just literally go to that actual beach and sit there. And I'm sitting there going, wow, what's the difference between my visualization of being here and me actually being here? There's not really any difference, to be completely honest. But I tell you what, when you hit your achievements, when you hit your targets, it feels so good. Because you get certainty that your next target will be able to come easily and faster. You are always divinely guided. The timing will always be perfectly aligned. And the right people at the right time will always come into your reality. So this did start off with a podcast about getting a boob job and explaining the why and the events that led up to it. But it's got an energy about it. And the whole point is it's about you. It's about what lights you up. It's about how you are choosing to be in this world without judgments, just with pure awareness and love. Always take it back to love and don't fear what is coming. Don't fear, but instead follow the energy of love and gratitude. Choose more for yourself and let the universe join you and praise, and basically celebration of you as a human being here on earth while you're here. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. I'd love to hear your feedback and if you've learned anything. So looking forward to seeing you on the next podcast. Have a beautiful day. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for joining the Release Your Blocks podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, I would love to hear from you. So please leave a review and tell me what your favorite takeaway from today was. There is so much more from where this came from. You can also find me at Holistic Energy Shifting on Facebook, where you can find more content, more coaching, and more guidance. Have a grand and glorious day, and I'll see you next time.